Uh, uh, we're back in the mystery lab again. Uh, uh, here we go again. Oh, 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 shit. You always fall flat on my face like this. Oh. Where am I? Uh, um, uh. Oh, babe. Why do I f keep falling onto my f my front? What should I do? I'll need to explain everything, won't I? We don't have much of a choice now. No point in keeping secrets here. I mean, you're the one who kicked him inside there. Eh? Um, Halara? Let me explain. And with the power of fast forwarding, blah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And that's how this mystery labyrinth involving the nail man killings materialized. Yep. I see. So mystery labyrinths are materialization of mysteries themselves. And the truth is encased deep within. I appear to have underestimated you. This is an amazing forte. I must admit, it's quite a superhuman power. As far as I know, no other ability comes close to this. Who are you? I refuse to think you're just a trainee detective. Like I said, I lost my... I am an enthusiastic person, so I have no idea what the hell am I doing, so... <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> um... To be honest, this isn't my ability. Before you continue, tell me, who is that woman beside you? Her name is Shinigami. I think the simplest way to describe her is that she's a guide for the Mystery Labyrinth. Yeah. That's me! I'm also Master Scary Cute Mentor. On also known as Boobigami. Okay, well. You're just gonna ignore me? <laughs> yeah, I think she did a lot. I was like, you know what? You I mentioned think. the nail man case just now. I had heard the rumors about that around town. Why are you investigating that case? Huh? What are you talking about? We were just investigating the nail man case together. The nail man. We were pursuing um, that case. She's... Wait. Together? You're playing dumb, aren't you? You don't remember? There was a young boy who wanted to hire a detective and you turned him down. L. Uh, hello, are you testing him? You can't just simply forget that you charged him in five million after that. I do remember you were I mean, a, a child about some case, and you ended up seeking my help. The cost and for I hiring you. me was five million five hundred thousand eight hundred yen. Yeah, I was like, you charge him five five nearly five point five million for that. With a uh, yeah okay uh after I did some math here you actually charge him a ten percent interest which is which is where 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 you got the five one hundred thousand come from and the eight hundred came from the the cake and cake and coffee and things. <laughs> you remember the exact amount? Uh, God, God damn it! I uh, I was hoping hope uh, I was hoping hopefully you'll forget about it. Did you say something? Uh, no, 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 no. But I can't remember what the case involved. I do Help. vaguely recall invest. My mind is clouded. I don't remember exactly what was being investigated or what was discovered. Could that be? Yeah, it's because of the mystery labyrinth. The mystery labyrinth is a fortress protecting the truth, so outsiders usually can't reach it. If someone did happen to wander in, their memories of the case would be locked away. Damn. So, shit. if you have a pact with me, you wouldn't be affected. Oh, that makes sense, though, because Halara was just brought into here and she just like, wait, what the hell just happened? I think that makes sense, though. But I guess that part of the pact can't be shared. This is the Mystery Labyrinth's defense mechanism, then. It makes sense for a vault that protects its treasure, the truth, to have a significant level of security. Yep, totally not strange at all. Halara here sure is smart. Halara? I thought my name is ha 
Halara, not Halara. Where do you get that thing again? <laughs> oh, don't mind her. She gives people random nicknames. No, 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 no. Halara is Suta because of her charging 5.5 million. Anyway, since my memories of the case have been taken away, I will provide a supporting role for your investigation. Supporting role? Uh, yeah, assistant like last time. As long as we're in here, I will act as your assistant. Well, that's the same as- That means we- That's unfortunate, but it's still nice to have an ally. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Though master, I haven't been using the defense for a while now. The mystery labyrinth. Let's do that thing. Huh? What? Wait, what? Oh, yes. Master? Are you ready to give your life for the truth? Yeah. I am. Okay, let's... Uh, oh boy. I don't think that this get fun for this thing now. Oh, yeah. That's true. This world is just full of surprises. <laughs> I'm surprised that Halara was just like so chill out after seeing this kind of dance. Like, wow, just you pull out a sword from her mouth. What else is new? <laughs> oh, great. Wait, that means I'm going to bring all the, the detectives in. With... Oh, wait, maybe Yako might be, but. Me oh yeah, I think I might be bringing all the detectives who have fought it to come inside here. <gasps> it's best oh wow. Uh, everybody's have the reaction like, wow, you pull out the sword from her, from her mouth? <laughs> I assume that sword is used to cut down enemies interfering with your progress through the mystery labyrinth? Yes. <laughs> it's a special sword that can interact with things here. Materialize the solution keys I got during the investigation, too. Okay, one, two. Uh, what? Why is she? Ugh, that was a lot. Here you go. Uh, do you have to vomit them out every time? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I. She has a point there. I was like, uh. Do you have a water running around here? I mean, you need to clean those keys, cause it's filled with. Oh, don't worry about it. It's it's just just a special materialized key, so don't mind me. Yeah, but it's dirty. Moving on. What? Should I use a different hole instead? <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> Sorry, please don't mind her. All right, we're all set. Now let's unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Our target is the true culprit who preys on- Uh, no seriously, we need to clean the keys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely sure that all the detectives who come inside here would definitely question- Question her- Her keys and- And sword. And her unique ability right at this point. I understand that progressing through this mystery labyrinth will allow us to obtain the truth. But what happens to us if we can't find it? Maybe let's we'll be lost, wandering around here forever. But as long as we reach the truth, it doesn't matter how much time we spend here. Oh, I forgot to mention this, but there's a time limit for solving the mystery labyrinth. Wait, what? Oh, what? There's a limit to how long you can stay in here. Stick around too long and your soul will leave your body behind. Your soul will wander until it's eventually absorbed by the mystery labyrinth. And you vanish entirely. In other words, you die. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the rule that she she mentioned. Yeah, in the in the pro in the episode. Why are you laughing? 
You should have told me this a long time ago! He, she did! Now relax, quit whining. A detective is bound to die anyway. Isn't that right, Helara? It's no different from our usual line of work. A detective's life is always on the line. See? Listen up, Master. You might learn something. You're taking this awfully well, Halara. I agree. Yeah, she's like so cheap. I was like, oh wow. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of shenanigans, but this takes a cake. But oh well, I'm going to move on. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, okay. I think that's. Thanks for the tip, Shinigami. Yeah, that What's thing is. What's this? They seem to represent the four crime scenes. I assume that solving all four will allow us to... Oh, I see. You see? Master, this is your... So what's first? How about starting with the clock tower, since it was the first one you investigated? If the numbers are set chronologically, then the clock tower would be the fourth... Lo yeah. That's a good point, because... The first one is involving the secret club. The second one involving the mansion. The third one involves the museum, and the fourth one is the clock tower. Are you going to the fourth locked room? Uh, yes, creepy doll? <laughs> Please don't turn into Annabelle and, and freak the F out of me. Trust me, I'm already having, having so much of the fucking drama. <laughs> Okay, now where were we? This is an exact replica of the clock tower crime scene. Shinigami, you didn't recreate it with your powers, did you? No, I can only do that when I hit you so hard in the head, you almost die. <laughs> yeah, um, thank you for reminding me that, uh, that from the last time you, you not, you... You give me a, uh, what do you call it, uh, a lariat at me? Well, I mean, at uh, you, how about you? The materialized in the labyrinth on its own. The fourth locked room is the latest chronological- That's right. And this is also what got me involved in the Nailman killings. What are the details of the case? Try to tell- The crime was a locked room murder inside the storage room of a clock tower. In the middle of the room was a woman's corpse covered in countless nails. Which means that's the corpse. Yeah. There yeah, the one with lots the of this dolls <laughs> nailed to the walls. It looked just like one of the those bizarre not crime scenes <laughs> left behind by that nailman guy from the urban. Hence the nailman killings. From the look of it, the door was locked from the inside. Yeah, it was locked until the body was discovered. There's only one window, and its shutters were down as well. I see. So the shutters were locked too. This is the third floor of the clock tower. It's too high up to jump from- Hmm. So it really is a locked room. Hey! If this is a locked room, aren't we stuck in here too? Oh no! Way. Master! You're trapped unless you solve this mystery! Otherwise, I'll run out of time and your soul gets snuffed out! You better hurry! Oh. Uh, hey. uh, what are you doing with the thing? Huh? Where did the copper flee from? I see. So that's how to make the questions appear. Okay, uh, can I... <laughs> I worry that... Luckily that Halawa doesn't have a weapon on her, but otherwise he's like, Okay, how about if I stab you some No, 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 don't stab me! Stop not stab me! But, Oh, I forgot to tell you that. I only can do. Oh, you killed him already. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm surprised you're so calm after seeing that. Oh, my. That's... <laughs> Where did the cop is? Sus selection. Yeah, okay. Front door is definitely not possible, so. I guess the only way to go down is the window? Here. It has to be here. Yeah, cause the only way you can get on is the window. The culprits must have escaped through the window. And your reasoning? When I arrived at the scene, the window shutters were closed. 
It was wet underneath the window, but I could tell it was already starting to dry. Which means the window was open not too long ago. It's likely the culprit escaped through the window and closed the shutters on the way out. Is it possible to close the shutters from the outside? Yes. This style of shutter automatically locks, so if you let go of the shutters at the right height, its momentum pulls it down. And once down, it locks all on its own. In other words, the culprit held up the shutters while moving outside. Once they let go, it automatically locked. In that case, let's try leaving this locked room in the same way. Right. Let's try it. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Holy shit, it's Penland Man! <laughs> The nail man killings have already been solved. Is he that peacekeeper? Come here. It's a mystery phantom. The people covering up the case in the real world are manifested like that here to stop us. You think the culprit really escaped from here? This high up? If you fall, you die. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Come here. Help! Hey, don't drag me down with you. We can't leave a guest behind, Halara. It would be downright unmannerly. Oh boy. So What's this? Uh, dealing with a continuous attack. Press the correct button when you think you have the correct answer. This might be a little tough for you, master. Attacks will come, but be careful. You can... Oh, great. Uh, what's this now? Yuma, the mystery labyrinth is a manifestation of a mystery. So solving it will get us out of this, right? I, I think so. The culprit wouldn't have fallen out of the window like we did. They would need a tool to get up and down. Yeah, I think it's a tool? Yeah, the you should have found something during the investigation. You must have seen the answer with your own eye. Uh, disco plan man! Yeah! Master, concentrate! <laughs> when did the culprit used to escape from the high location? Uh bus. Must be it! Bus from the uh. That's it! We found the burnt remains of that rope in the incinerator at the church. The culprit oh, had used uh, that rope to uh, escape. Do I need to the just What traces do the, the rope left behind? Uh, wait, wait. wait. No, I can't dodge it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. How do you dodge the thing? How? Wait, wait, wait. I'm a little bit confused. Oh, 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 I don't. Mouse on the two window. Oh, 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 oh. I don't need to dodge, I just. The nail that was stuck in the doll under the window had some rub marks on it. The culprit must have tied the rope there. That's why those nails have been hammered in below the window. It what? wouldn't be possible to climb down a rope simply hooked onto a window. Unless you've had special training for it. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way an amateur could manage it. That can't be how things went down. Uh, okay, so... In that case, it couldn't have been an ordinary rope. It must have been... Yeah, a rope that... Uh... What's that? I can't hear you! What was the rope? Oh, Burns, we made origin. Really. Yeah, the guy who should... Safety line. Don't worry. Rope right yeah, that one, that one, that one. The one in the middle. Please let me in. Ow! I guess the impact just sent us up. Ow. F. Ow. We're alive, I think. Yuma. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. You saved me, Halara. Correct. 
It's all thanks to me. Money well spent, no? Wish you could give a discount for this. Like, well, it was a lot of money. Yeah, five mi five, five million. I'm still Come busy. on! Are you two just gonna keep staring at each other all day? Let's get out of this locked room. Um, right. So this is the rope ladder in question. It certainly would help you escape. Yeah, that's why there was a mocking there. The details of the case are still unclear to me. Was this found in the church's incinerator? That's right. It didn't concern me at the time, but it makes sense now. The rope can be folded in the middle, and then the ends can be connected together. And that's how they made a rope ladder. What makes you so sure it was used here? The nail under the window showed signs of friction from a rope and had some yellow fibers on it. A clergy member showed me the rope's burnt remains, and I noticed it was the same yellow color. And there were footprints on the ground below the window of the clock tower, facing the wall. Thinking about it now, these were clearly signs that someone climbed down the rope ladder and landed there. Wait, wasn't the rope ladder hitched on that nail? How did they get it down from the bottom? The culprit could have cut it one rung at a time as they descended. By the time they reached the bottom... It would have been one long, single rope, which they could easily pull down. The window shutters fell due to its weight and locked automatically, completing the locked room. Yep, that's a stellar deduction. Major props. for terraining you! Okay, here we go. It's dead better time. The culprit used that rope ladder to escape the clock tower. What of it? Oh great, this plant man is back. <laughs> He's back! That doesn't change our Wow, fight. this guy is having a glaring thing. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Master, boom kill the mystery phantom blocking your path! Y yeah! Welcome, feel the height, uh, doll key. Okay. These deductions of yours are unnecessary. Oh, it's clear who the culprit is. The watchmaker was nearby at the time of crime. The watchmaker was also at the sea. And he had a hammer for the nails. In other words, he committed the crime. After committing the crime, just as you deduced, he created the lock. Wait. A lock room was created, right? I don't think he repeated that. Isn't he supposed to be a. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he's afraid of heights. Uh, wait, wait, wait. These deductions of yours are unnecessary. It's clear who the culprit is. The one who was at the time of the crime. Watchmaker was also at the scene. And he had a hammer for the nail. In other words, he committed the crime. After committing the crime. Just as you deduced, he created that locked room. And escaped via the rope ladder. Yeah, that one. This is the truth. <sighs> Music time! The watchmaker is afraid of heights. He couldn't even look out the windows as he went up the tower. No way he climbed a rope ladder that high up. Ding, 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 ding. So it's impossible for him to have committed the crime. He's not the nail man. Oh. Ah. Damn you! Ah. 
Oh, I'm gonna leave. Bye bye. Oh, I'm gonna leave. Bye bye. You said these mystery phantoms try to cover up the case, right? Which means the peacekeeper Seth is trying to do just that. I don't know why, but it's clear the peacekeepers are involved with this case. Perhaps it is connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. All the more reason to seize the truth. Let's go. Right. Jeez, who's the protagonist here? Uh, you know what? Let's go. By the way, Yuma, about your sword, does it only work on cues and mystery phantoms? The Solution Blade works against anything in the Mystery Labyrinth, so don't cut your allies by mistake, Master. You could have told me that sooner. Can I use that sword? Oh, so sorry. Only Master is able to use it because he made a pact with yours truly. Just like a Keyblade. Oh, what's a Keyblade? You don't want to know. You may be under the effects of coalescence, but you're just an extra here, Hellara. So, no, you can't use the Solution Blade. I was merely curious. Regardless, it's best I act as support, since I don't have any memories of what happened. Let's return to the case. Assuming the Watchmaker isn't the culprit, do you have any notion of who is? I... Hellara... During the investigation, you claimed one of the people at the church is the culprit. I think I understand the reason why now. That rope was found inside the incinerator, which only clergy members could access. In other words, whoever tried to destroy the evidence is a member of the church. <laughs> Prompt and logical. I am quite impressive. Yeah, yeah, go me. Wait, you're tooting your own horn? Yeah, she is. Is a yeah, yeah, you me. Is it okay? Okay, so we know that the father is not a copy because of fear. Yeah, he was he was falsely accused. Hey, a trash. You just kicked the thing open. A new solution. Only because your man has yeah. What the? Uh. Put off? We're back to the original spot. So we cleared the first route. We just need to keep this up and go through each shrine one by one to gather clues about the culprit, which supposedly leads to solving the real life case. You learn fast, unlike a certain master I know. If you're so impressed, why don't you just sign a pact with Halara? Oh, are you sulking? <laughs> You're the jealous kind, aren't you? No, no I'm not. not. <laughs> We're short on time, aren't we? <laughs> right. Uh, fine, I can't listen. wait to reap the culprit's soul. What do we do next? Okay. You can choose whichever you want, so why not start with the one you're most confident with? Let's see. Okay, uh, since since I can choose any of them, I think we just start with chronological order, like first, second, and third. At least we can get a better idea of what's going on. The first locked room happened six months ago in a secret club in Kamasaki District. An old geezer was nailed to the wall in an underground casino. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Are you going to the first locked room? Yes. That's that way, so at least we know what to solve and then just find Oh! Ow! Oh, did we get trapped inside a what? If the mystery isn't solved, then I won't escape this place! <gasps> trapped in a cramped room with these two! Sounds kind of fun, actually. Ah, <laughs> shit. Ah, what the hell is wrong with you? I have no intention of playing along with your fantasies. Yuma. Hurry up and take care of this. Yeah, hurry up. Yeah, okay. I pay the you, uh, you to taking up with her. Uh, 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 not again! Oh! Where did the copy flee from? This is where I used Talara's forte with my coalesced post-cognition. Those Yo, post are most suspicious. Yeah. I guess the only way he can go off is... 
here. The vent. I mean, the door is locked, so the vent is the only I thing. I know. What about the vent? You believe the culprit escaped through the vent? Yes, I'm sure of it. When I saw the crime scene with your post-cognition, the screws on the four corners of the vent cover were removed, which means the culprit must have escaped from there. Ugh, I'm back again. How ludicrous. You're saying the culprit escaped from the vent? Master! Poke it full of holes until he's a makeshift golf course! Uh, do you have a flame troll for this guy? What does that mean? Uh, I wish we have a flame troll for this guy. This go plant man is really getting in, in my nose right now. <laughs> this is it. Okay. Okay, little claw, nails behind the vents. Okay, okay, trying to see what they have to press. They used the vent. That's not oh. impossible. Think of where that vent is. Isn't it pretty high up? Uh, pretty high up. There's no okay. way oh. you could get there. Even if the cover was removed. There's no foothold to use to reach it. No one could get out through the vent. Uh, uh, wait, 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 I think right. I'm... Yeah, the event was pretty high, I bet you couldn't reach the room. Good. But that event is the only way they could go. What's it? Yeah, 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 there is one, there is one, there is one, uh... Yeah, the nails! The vent. That's utterly impossible. Ow, 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 was it again? Think of where that vent is. Isn't it pretty high up? There's no way you could get there. Even if the cover was removed. There's no foothold to use to reach it. There is! Through this mystery, some of the nails stuck in the bottom of the vent were bent downward. The culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footing to reach the vent. The weight caused the nails to bend. Yeah. Oh. Disco plan man out. <laughs> so you're forced to fight this way every time. Quite the test of endurance. Yeah, that's Yeah, no kidding. However, solving the mystery itself was simple. The nails were used as footing to escape through the vent. Did you find that out using my post-cognition? Yeah. Without your help, this case would have been impossible to solve. You'll never be considered a full-fledged detective until you can handle a case like this on your own. Sorry. You got lectured again. <gasps> Sucks to be a rookie, huh? Anyway, let's head out. So we'll use the nails on the wall as footing, just like you- Right, let's hurry. Uh, uh, don't use my dead body, Ashika. Oh, wait, <laughs> Mafia. Oh, wait, Mafia already. Okay. Wait, how do I get up here? <laughs> so far, the club, yeah, it's definitely a church member, and I the suspect the Mafia. fucking priest. Such a bizarre. I must ask, is there no way to escape besides solving the mystery? You mean like in the emergency exit? Unfortunately, I don't think that exists. An emergency exit, huh? Well, there is one. There is? There is? <gasps> but it doesn't solve anything. 
you'll just go right back to the mess you came from. Ugh. So that means it doesn't solve anything, even though we just exit like that, so never mind. Besides, to use the emergency exit, we'll have to pay a heavy, heavy price. Of course. And the Don't worry about it. Using it here wouldn't help anyway. So never mind. Just concentrate on solving the mystery. Yeah, I'm guessing that if you just go to the mansion that's it, you probably have your soul stuck there forever, so yeah, that's not gonna help out. Got it. You may go now, but you might get yourself killed, but you still get arrested, so there's no point to it. Anyways, let's see what's the next one. Hmm. If it's like this before, there should be a solution key here. If you reveal the perpetrator, the crime on the scene. Once you obtain it, you should protect her totally. There it is! Okay, let's see. So, oh, that's me. All right, another solution key. Only someone with a slender beard could have the nails and footing of the escape the vent. Yep, the fat man could not even do that. Looks like another clue leading us to. It's the definitely the 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 priest. Hmm. So, considering the culprit used those nails as footing, they would have to be nimble. And given the size of the vent, only someone thin could fit through it. So the culprit must be thin. We're narrowing down the possibilities quite nicely. Yep. Keep it up, master! Alright! Let's keep going and solve the remaining locked rooms! What? I'm I'm a little concerned. Why the hell is Dracula's flame coming up on no pillow flame coming up nowhere? Okay, second one. The second locked room, Mister. The corpse was inside the study. And the, if you think you're up for it, then. Are you going to the second locked room? Yep. The second locked room was the mansion. Q, the mystery la There are dolls nailed across the room. And the culprit was also missing from this room? It shares common traits with the other mailman killing. And we're trapped again. Looks like you gotta solve the mystery of this locked room, or we're not leaving. I'll try. Uh, do we need to? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh again! Okay, so when the door was locked when the corpse was found, and the only key was under. There are no windows that could have been used to escape. So how did the? Okay. Uh, let me try it. Same. Okay. So there's no way he can get out there. So I guess he goes out to the front door itself. I think. I mean, he could lock in somewhere with the. Oh, okay. This has to be the spot. To leave the room, the culprit had to have taken this door to the hallway. Huh? There's nothing special about that. But there's no other possibility. There isn't another entrance or exit. But the door itself was locked, and the key was found under the corpse. After locking it from outside in the hallway. How did the culprit enter the room and put the key under the corpse? Try it. Everything must be verified. Okay, I'm taking. Use the key. Uh, sure. <laughs> After committing the crime, the culprit went out to the hallway with the key in hand. They then locked the door. Assuming that's the only way to create this locked room, the problem is. What are you going to do with that key in your hand, Master? Don't tell me you still have no idea. Oh, hold on, let me think this over. What? Uh -huh. Looks like we're locked out. Wait, where's the chair come from? Oh boy. This is bad, Master! You better hurry or you'll fall into the abyss! What do I do? 
calm down. You just, you can do it, can't you? Yes, I'll try. Um, we have to put the key back in the locked room, right? In that case. Oh, uh, because the copy, what happens? Uh, throw away. That's throw in. Right. The key could be slid through the gap in the vent cover above the door. Oh wait, it could be and some sort of like robot to string to tie right that under the corpse from here. Okay, so it could be a rope or string like last. It stopped, but nothing happened. If it was wrong. A trap would have activated. So we're on the right track about the key being thrown in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember there was a marking on the vent vent there, so it but should be some sort of like a robot string to. If you simply threw it in, it'd be impossible to position it under the corpse. I see. So this is the vital clue for this locked room. Alara. Oh, you have it? Yeah, yes, I have. playing hard to get and tell us. If you want information from me, you'll have to pay a fitting price in Xi'an. No. Of course, I don't work for cheap. You really are a devil. Trying to take money from a death god, huh? The key was definitely tossed inside. But that doesn't explain how it got under the corpse, so... How did the corpse... Maybe the corpse was moved? That would explain how it was on top of the key. No, because the, the remember the nails had been positioned in a different way. So I guess he was sit upright. I with the string or something but like that. How do you? Oh, what the heck? Aww, always completely. But the only things here that can block our progress are missed. That's true. So we. And how do we do that? Oh, yeah, okay, not again. At least give all me the corpse was first. It says, how was the corpse? I've been trying to figure it out. Evidence was left at the scene. Huh? If you look at the evidence, you'll under- Tool? That's all the advice I'll provide. Uh, got it. Got it? You just want the mystery solved for you. So, I'll help you out. Huh? Ready for- Play it all out, master! It's- Okay, time for the shitty guppy puzzle. Okay, uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Big time time. Shinny guppy puzzle. The couple uses the one to move the body. Yeah. Yes! Right. It strings! I miss S T R I and shoot. Come on. And G. Strings! Yeah, it's a six letter one. If it's four, it will be rope, so yeah, meow. Oh yeah. Yeah. of a thin string being used at the scene of the- A sturdy and thin string like a fishing line must have been used to move the body. Oh great, here comes Disco Plant Man again. A tiny string could move a whole corpse. There he is again! That rude and gloomy guy! That deduction is wrong. You're wrong. What could be wrong about it? Sounded really confident just now. Listen, the nails in that corpse's leg pierced through his body and into the floor, which means the corpse was fixed in place. So how could the corpse be moved? Oh, true. Indeed. It. Alara, you think so too? No, 
No, there is a way. No. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Huh? The door! The truth is slipping further away! Of course it is. Because your deduction is wrong. <laughs> you people will never reach the truth. Master, let's take him down! It, yeah. Yeah, I got that right. Uh. Alright, uh, let's see. Mansion Dolls Eyes got job, Blood Stain and Pop is got the key study. Your deduction. Wait, is I have wrong. to see first. Do you have any proof that the corpse was moved? The corpse was fixed in place. Bossos. It didn't move the millimeter. In fact, that corpse. There was no sign it was ever moved. So no sign ever. That's an indisputable fact. Wait. Just like he said, my name is Fix the Blood. I'm the creative one. Then... Uh, yeah, I think I know. No, this one is not it. Yeah, the blood's in the cops. That thing is something to do with Your it. deduction is wrong. Why am I having a key then? Do you have any proof that the corpse was moved? Yes. The corpse was fixed in place. Nope. Oh, what? 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 Okay, the corpse was not fixed in place, so that wasn't wrong. Your deduction is wrong. Do you have proof that the corpse was moved? The corpse was fixed in place. It did move the meter. In fact, that corpse shows no sign it was ever moved. That one? Yep, you got your move. Yep, is that one? Let's in the corpse. Body had been moved. The upper and lower parts of the body bled out differently. The blood from the lower body flowed naturally outwards along the body's outline, but blood from the upper body looks like it flowed in a downward direction toward his hips. If the corpse was motionless on its back, there wouldn't be such unusual blood stain. In other words, it's safe to assume the body's position was different from when it was discovered. Sure. Ow. What the hell? Oh great, you got you what? got your siblings here. Yeah. What's this? Yeah, gross. Unusual circumstances. It doesn't matter. As long as the corpse is pinned to the floor, you can't change the Even this didn't work? No, you're correct. The answer you've reached using the evidence is the truth. Alara! There's no doubt a fine string was used in this case. Evidence at the crime scene indicate the corpse was moved. So all that remains is to answer, how was the pin body moved? That bizarre blood stain holds the clue to all of this. The blood stain? If the blood stain is the clue for a- Master, we gotta chase after the door! Yeah. Uh, hey, wait! I won't let you- What position was the corpse was in before it was moved? Standing legs was upside down. Uh, upper on the sitting, upper body on the sitting. Oh shit! No, my three. That's right. The corpse was sitting up at first. That's why only the wounds in the upper half of the body bled straight down. Uh, 
What was used to sit on the up? Sit this up on my a tin string or wall card box? Tin string. Ow! Oh. The string I mentioned before was thin but sturdy. It was all over the room, holding the body's upper half in place. That's the reason only the corpse's neck had marks on it. Oh yeah, I forgot the the double marking. The double string. Why was the cops lying on the back at the time base? It was moved, the string was retrieved, the string was cut. It was retrieved! I don't think he cut because I think he just he dragged the thing. The culprit then retrieved all the string that kept the corpse in place from outside the door. And with nothing to support it, the top half of the corpse fell back to the floor. Just like how it was discovered. It appears this locked room mystery will finally be solved. Yeah, that one's long. Huh? When did that happen? Maybe you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Master, you know the answer, right? Right. Recreate the locked room. Oh, uh, what? You gotta think like the culprit, Master! Okay. Think about how the cop would create the locked room for it, so. What place is suspicious? So be careful. Okay. You have to recreate the culprit's locked room mystery. Okay, uh. I'm guessing the first thing he did was. The vent. First, a knot was tied through a slit in the vent. After that, the fishing line was drawn away to another location. In terms of sequence, it'd probably be easier to start with things that are fixed in plate. Yeah, uh, let's see. There must be some. No, that slime will be not big. Wait, maybe that doll there? That's it! It passed through a doll's eye. And then the fishing line passed through the eye to somewhere else. Yeah, uh, then to the corpse. Right. The line was then passed around a certain point on the corpse. That was... Under the... Uh, under the neck. Here, behind the neck. The line ends here to support it. Yeah, that's why they got now, a double it's line. clear that the line passed through the vent, the doll's eye, and ended beneath the neck. Hang on. Why pull a line through the doll first? Can't you just start by pulling it from under the body? To support the body's weight, the line needs to pass through the doll first, as it was fixed in place. Next, the fishing line. Uh, then I think you go back to the vent again, because it's the nearest. Now, to return the line to the vent. This kept the corpse's upper torso in place. The room has been completely prepared. So next... The door? The culprit exited through the door and locked it with the key. And then... Uh, the door... Where was the key to... The vent gap. The key was thrown through the gap in the vent. If the culprit managed to drop the key next to the corpse, the only thing left was to untie the line. Yeah. Ow. The corpse, which was supported only by the line, would fall face up on top of the key. That's how the culprit created the lock. Ray, you did it! That's my master! Lock room complete. The blood stains were strained. The length of the nails driven into the upper and lower body were different. The nails on the upper half didn't penetrate all the way through the body, but the nails on the lower half went all the way through and into. That was how the lower half could be secured. 
while the upper half could still be moved around. That sure was tricky, but you managed to solve the mystery behind it. Okay, so what's the next clue on this thing? <sighs> Speaking of, the dope of witches. Okay, the fishing line we use in the locker room. Yeah, this is very complex. This is probably another. Still, it... Dracula, stop burning that thing! I can't help it. Other... Let's I solve the rest. This is what I do. Right. Okay, so next one is just. The third locked room was a murder that happened one month ago in the art gallery storage in Ginma district. Pictures and paint were scattered all around the spot where a woman was boom killed. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. The video is gone. Uh, what video? Uh, what? Hold on a second. Uh, what video gone? Uh, s s eh? This. Wait, uh, could you refresh it and see? Hold on a second, let me check. Uh. Uh, Thunder, uh, Thunder Emperor R, I actually checked it. It's still, it's still there. Uh, try refreshing it, cause, uh, Amanda, uh, Amanda, are you still there? Uh, is the video still running? Just to, just to check, cause, the video is still running. Uh, you maybe you should refresh and check out maybe because I'm looking at my screen here and it's still it's, it's my phone ah that's why okay just hydrate but yeah it, I think it's working so I didn't okay so, uh, sorry but then you know okay let's continue Going to the third lot room? Yep, last one, so. Hmm, but I said, but Thunder Emperor, I suggest to be fresh in case things happen, so. Okay, so this uh, one. Did we get stuck? This was the corpse that was discovered by that worshipper. And the, at the time of discovery, the door was locked and the key was made. Aside from the door, the only other- It opens just enough to- How did the culprit vanish? Oh great, here we go again. Oh sh- Yeah, uh, I don't think the culprit can fit in that thing, so I guess he went through out the door? Here. I think the culprit could have only escaped from here. Hmm. Nothing's happening. No, that can't be right. It's impossible for anyone to squeeze through that window. They could have only gotten out through the door. Yeah, I'm that's sure impossible. the culprit yeah. had the key and locked the door from the outside after committing the crime. The culprit just used a copy of the key. Would that really be considered? Well, there are only two keys to the storage space, and the design makes them impossible to duplicate. I learned that thanks to you. One of the keys is always carried by that one employee. It was used when the body was first discovered, and the only other key was nailed through a doll onto a paint. So, it is a lock! I see. Hey, Yuma, can you go? Oh. 
just like before. Before? Yeah. You made me do the same thing in the real world. I see. Then the answer has already been confirmed. Huh? Wait. You haven't? Um... Yes, How maybe? How about you go and check outside the window? Oh, you don't play for you. Oh, it unlocked. Looks All right, let's go. Yeah, but how? Oh, sorry. Okay, so. Hey, didn't you already check this in the? Holara told me to check it twice. Hey, maybe the culprit threw the key. Well, how about? <laughs> Is this the storage? Which means... Because of the copper, what happens to the key? This one's a freebie! I was right! Just... The culprit's through the key? Is that really the right hand? Yes! Uh, no! Wait, the, wait, That's there's no totally strings in it! Uh, wait, let me try- wait, this is not an answer! Uh-oh. Oh, uh, oops. Huh? No? That's the right answer? Uh, wait, huh? Um, there's no yes, no, maybe, or something like that? Uh, what? Huh? Na nani? What? I'm a... You say yes, but I don't see a string to mark that, but is there any other option now? How? Didn't the culprit throw the key in there? That's why the key was found inside, right? No, the crime scene wouldn't end up like that if we threw it in. The key was nailed to a painting. That's not possible if you just throw it into the room. Yeah, because it was nailed to the painting, and unlike the second case, there's no way to put it on the floor. Oh, but if the culprit didn't throw it in there, how is the key left in the room? Hmm, if you can't nail the key after throwing it... Huh? Ah! Ouch! Ah. Wait, I'm back here again? Ow! Ow! Ah! Oh, I'm back again. Oh, oh, my you're leg. back. Yeah, I know. Hi. The key vanished. The key is in my. Master, you got the doll and nail. I see. So you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit. Try it out. Doing so will create a new path. Yeah, I'm gonna solve this. Good luck, Master. Okay, so I think the first thing is to retrade the locked room. Uh, yeah, uh. You have to recreate the culprit's locked room mystery! Okay, uh. Let's see. What am I supposed to do now? Wait. We try the room, uh, maybe the painting, I guess? Alright, first, take the painting. Prop the painting against near the wall. Nail the- nail the thing- nail the- nail the doll to the painting. The culprit nailed the doll onto the painting. Yeah, that's the first thing. Ugh. Next, both were stood up at a certain location. Yeah, and... Yeah. Wall the window. Yeah, that's the side here, so... The painting was stood up facing the window. Now the part with the pierced doll is right next to the window. After that... Yeah, then he just... Wait... Wait, he can't go up here, so... Maybe he... He walked out? Then the culprit went outside. The door was locked, and they went to the other side of the storage room. Wait... 
Oh, I can that's see the a... painting and doll through the window, but I can barely fit my hand through the gap. The doll's got a nail in it, but the problem is that key in your hand, Master. Oh wait, maybe he nailed the thing, so... Yeah, the culprit took the key and then... He, he nailed the painting with the doll. The culprit nailed the key to the painting, along with the doll from outside the window. Finally... Knock the painting! I pushed the painting into the room. Oh no. the locked room mystery! Wait, hold on! There's something I don't get it. Wait. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out. It took some time. But you've reached the truth behind this locked room. Yeah, but uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Earlier just now, this is that. Earlier, it is. If he does like that, then where did the priest come from? Because there was two keys. How the fuck did he manage to to do that if we were doing anything? Because one, the key was, the first key was with the club. Oh, 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 oh! I know what's going on. I know what's going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy is going to get. That is coming soon. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get to that part if we come to that. If we cross that part. Throwing the key through the window would be obvious. So to mislead us into thinking that was impossible, the key was nailed to a painting which was then pushed over. It's one thing for an amateur, but a detective wouldn't be tricked by this. Seriously? Only amateurs would get fooled by... Yeah, well, excuse me, because I got a little bit of hot tink. I was thinking too much on Dinyao. Wait, you mean me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what's inside. See, yeah, something's not right about this this one here. Hey! Uh, how would you just <laughs> I'm the meanest! Let's check out this treasure! Huh? What's wrong? Wait. It's empty! No key? Huh? Why? After all we went through to solve- This must mean solving the third locked room mystery. Doesn't- That's terrible. We can't call it quits. We- Yeah, but- Okay, time to burn the thing! Dracula, please stop burning the damn thing! I got no bit- You didn't bleed it beneath! That's it for all the locked rooms! We make a pretty good team. <laughs> well? Yeah. Oh, uh, hello? I see. The way forward is clear. Now let's go. Right. Again, I... Yeah, but I think I know who... Yeah. I think I know who's the nail man. But yeah, the museum is off. This Some... place is creepy. Oh, welcome to the dungeon. Don't be Whoa. afraid to roll the dice. You must keep pursuing the truth. Yeah, but this is a fucking dungeon. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Isn't that right? Yes. I am the I am the priestess. 
I am the priestess of it. I have done nothing long. Let me out! I'll kill your ass in the name of God! With your broken hand? I, I have nothing to do with the case. I'm not the culprit! Let me go! Oh, shut up. Wow, they're all here! So now we must pick out the true culprit. The true culprit. Yuma, you solve all the locked room mystery. You should have all the clues and evidence. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather pitiful. Ha ha ha, thank you. <laughs> you sure are honest. But my opinion of you has improved. These mysteries have brought you closer to becoming a true detective. Now tie up all the loose ends and put with your logic. All right, I'll tr Yeah. <laughs> Guilty. My heart's pounding. Yeah, I know who you which one is it, but let's see. Who is the nail man? I'm not the nail man. I, I'm not the culprit. I, uh, I'm not the. How can I be the nail man? Yeah, you're not. Trust me. I'm not the nail. I, I'm not but you the are you are the one you priest <laughs> the nun is injured the it can't be the fat it can't be fryer tuck and it can't be the the worship culprit is you father what that's an absolutely ridiculous thing to say oh great disco disco plant man is back when were you in th the third room? You're saying the priest, a man of the cloth, is the culprit. That's impossible. Oh yeah, and what are you doing here? How dare you spew such an... Right! Do not make baseless accusations. The culprit has to be someone else. Yuma, can I leave this? It's not a baseless accusation. You're the only one who could possibly be the culprit. Yes, and look at my... Uh... My lady Ahoge, so yes, Master, you are the culprit. you're acting like a real detective! Uh, well, if we say so, then I'll become a police of needs! What the hell? What the hell happened to your head, oh, oh, please, father? Look, I, I'm, I am innocent, but I. Look, I am innocent, but. Okay, let's go for it. Wait, we are finding the two? Oh boy, I'm. Uh, uh, person with access, bent to the study. Yeah, I think in the first one. I'm a man of the claw. Yeah, but yeah, that be this total blast. I am not the nail. That's it. The first one to discover the body. The mailman is the worshipper. Oh no, you don't. You're not getting angry at me. No, no, no. no. Yeah, but he doesn't have access to it now. The rope ladder used in the clock tower's locked room was found in the incinerator, which only clergy can access. The worshiper may be a regular churchgoer, but he's no clergy member. Yeah, so that he's no longer a suspect. Shut up! Shut up! Wait, father? Are you serious? Oh, uh, I mean, be quiet! Ridiculous! Okay. Burn row remains. Uh, Victor cost of that team person. Okay, wait. A member of the church is the culprit? Yeah. Even so, I am not the culprit. There are others working for the church. Yes, there's the servant. The servant must be the nailman. The servant was able to commit the crimes. Oh, wait, wait. wait. To be eliminated as a suspect. 
He pretended to discover a rope cracker. Yeah, but... Great. There's uh, nothing. Then... No, 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 no. It's... We can cause it that. Yeah, 10%. Remember of the churches, the culprit? Even so, I am not the culprit. There are others working for the church. Yeah. Yes, there's the servant. The servant must be the nailman. The servant was able to commit the crime. No, you don't. Wow. To be eliminated. I missed that one, but. Okay, now I got hit. No, 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 no. You. Climbing up to the underground casino's window with only nails for footing would require considerable agility. Judging by the size of the window, there's no way someone of his size could have committed the crime. No, no! Uh, absolute lies! Yeah, then how is he going to go fit inside that fucking building? non publicity fishing line up. The nun must be the culprit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this one is... Yeah, it's this one. Fishing line. I think this is the only thing I can She's do. thin and also works at the church. The nun yeah, is absolutely able to come on. Yeah, but the, the problem is that she has a, a broken arm. So, no. <laughs> Imagine Study's locked room. The culprit tossed the key behind the corpse with perfect aim. With her dominant hand injured, the nun couldn't have done that. Which means she's not the culprit. Oh shit. Yeah, that only leaves you. Maybe there's another person? I mean, we haven't bring a lot of people, but, uh... Well, I mean... It's not the churchgoer, the servant, or the nun. Father, it's you. You are the nail man! <laughs> well, um... Hey! Say something quick! Otherwise, they'll pin me as the cult. Um... Well... <laughs> yeah, even this guy's like, um, well, you're on your own. Ah, you're useless. I am a priest in service to God. Uh, what? what? Uh -huh. Holy shit! The man. Oh. Oh, she's coupled with nails and uh, strings around him. All your proof is nothing but fantasy. You don't have a single piece of hard evidence. Hard evidence? But master, you do. Based on the facts, the priest must be the culprit. Uh, I don't know. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Listen, a detective isn't an arbiter of justice. Unraveling a case is top priority. Even with questions. What do you mean? In short, you must get them to confess. Use everything in your arsenal, even if it requires bluffing. Bluffing, huh? Ev Don't hesitate to use anything that emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. A bluff? In other words, I should just. What, yeah. what could I use as a bluff? Yeah, that's the, the one way to put it. Oh, great. We have to deal with Mr. Hyde here. <laughs> Man, I thought the first one, first form is fine, but the second form is like. His hawkish form is. Oh boy. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, what we got, we got, we got. Uh, clock tower murder case, suspicious past near murder, a near painting. 
Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this one cannot be because. Because it could be suspicious for twins, mailman murders. Yeah, but we can't kill that guy because. Uh, Bill. No, this isn't. Okay, I think this one. Enough with your stupid fantasies! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Everything you say. There's nothing like a fantasy. Wait, I can do that? Do you have a proof that I'm Whoa! Did you find my fingerprints? Did you find my blood? What do you mean by- Of course there's no evidence. Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> Maybe footprints? <laughs> you left clear evidence at the clock tower's crime scene. There were footprints left under the window in the mud. When we inspected them, we found out they perfectly match your footprints. Yeah, no blood, no. You said no blood, no. No, no, I forgot the, the, the other last one. He said no blood, no, uh... No, no stranded thing, but you never say footprint, so yeah. <laughs> no, you, you go with the sister. I already burned those shoes in the incinerator. Ah! Gotcha, now. ta da ta ta da ta ta <laughs> Moron. <laughs> uh, you gave oops. yourself away. Yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> Uh, oops. Uh oh. Did I do that? Oh. Yep, we heard it. We had it now. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I swear. I only enacted justice. Looks like it worked. Good job, Yuma. Yeah, good job. Thanks. Yeah. Can I warn? It's rotten to the core. To save it. Someone had to get their hands dirty. Those slain were the evil incarnate that harmed others. That's why the people asked the mailman to kill them. Evil must be punished. And so, I strangled them. Made them all I did was slay evil. Uh, oh no! No! I'm dying! No! Uh, wait, that's it? Oh... Uh, don't we get the boss battle or something? Hello? If someone hates somebody bad enough? Hello? They give that name to the mailman. And this priest went around killing those people as- The urban legend offered targets for murder. A priest is supposed to be the voice of God. But he went around killing people because oh, someone wanted me. them dead. <laughs> it's terrible. It's insane to think that he'd kill people for a reason like that. Yeah, he killed he killed them for the name of God. But I mean the four I'm not sure if I want to say this out loud, but the four people may be assholes or the people that they want to kill because of people want them. That could be said about all murders. Insane people kill for insane reasons. Anyway, you did it, Yuma. Is it finally over? Huh, nothing's happening. But last? Yeah, the soul of the true culprit who created this mystery labyrinth should appear. Yeah, and where's the dungeon? It didn't. Yeah, uh, where's, the, where's the castle? Where's the thing? It looks like this isn't over yet. Yeah, I think huh? I know why. It's not over? There are still mysteries related to the nailman killings within this- But- we solved all of the locked rooms and discovered the true identity of the nailman. Yeah, but one case is not. Yeah, but there's one case that is still not, not right. Not the nailman. Was I wrong? Uh, calm down, Yuma. But if the nailman's identity is exposed and all mysteries are yet to be, seen, then most likely someone else's agenda is involved in this. Someone else's agenda? Meaning the nailman didn't work alone. You mean? There's another culprit? Yuma, if you consider yourself to be a detective, no mystery concludes with a dead end. There is nothing we detectives cannot solve. Oh, all right. We have to review these killings from a... Yeah, I think I know. 
Yeah, there's only one. Yeah, the third one was. The third one is definitely the museum. Out of the four locked rooms, it would be the room that's obviously di different. Master, I get the feeling you want my help. Huh? Oh, fine. I can't say no. To okay, Master, lay it all. Yeah, it's the third one. The third one's different. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, the co you know, we got the victims. Uh, victims. Uh, 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 uh death. E e a. Right. Hitch. Right. Yeah, the dad is wrong. All the nail men killed. Like I said, the third one is being strangulation, but the first one is more like he knocked the head to death, you know. Oh, clergyman. Sorry. Sorry, oh, worship it, man. You had some fucking sneaky to do. Yeah, now we can. <laughs> yeah, Amanda mentioned that she he's very sus. So I'm guessing he's a, he has something to do with it. A new path's opened up. It seems to be a hidden path. If so, then the truth should be some. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling that he has something to do with it. It's the. F yeah, I was wondering about the keys too. I see. So the cause of death for the victim at the art gallery storage is the only one that's different. Yeah. Victims in the other locked rooms were all strangled to death. All had strangulation marks and scratches, defensive wounds. The victim in the third locked room had strangulation marks, but no signs of resistance. There's also evidence of blunt trauma to the head, which can be considered the fatal blow. The marks could have been made after the victim died, so as to appear as if strangulation was the cause of death. The real cause of death is blunt force trauma. Yeah, so this one was a little odd. Also, also, if it were to be the police, how the hell did he manage to get two keys? Yeah, the only person who has the, the other key was a that 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 freaking big worshiper guy. Yeah, it's definitely him. Oh, I'm really gonna do that. Here's another obstacle. But it's likely to be an insignificant humor. But solve this right. Okay, time to time to, to have your blood again. Whee! What was the cause of death making the look like strangulation? Coincidence, the work of a priest, the coca coca I'm guessing that only in this world that my blood is red here, so okay. Yeah, I say Work on the copycat! Right here! Coincidence cannot be. It definitely is be. Ah, we back in this dungeon. We back in this. The strangulation was faked to imply this crime had the same perpetrator as the other three incidents. The, yeah, the By first. making the crime scene as similar as possible, it appeared that the mailman was responsible for an unrelated murder. 
which means this was a copycat crime. I agree. Yeah. What the fuck is this boy doing here? He's nothing to do with this! <laughs> Game! <laughs> this is way too easy. Among the string of mailman killings, there could be some that were done by copycat criminals. That has to be why the mystery labyrinth still remains, even after discovering the mailman's identity. So who is the copycat criminal? Indeed. We need to unfold yeah. it. Yeah, I know who. Yeah. Yeah, Blue Boy here has some fucking explaining to do now. You're accusing me of being the copycat criminal? What the hell? I'll kill your ass! Yeah, you're not it. You're right. <laughs> Why is he here again? He's not even doing it. Jeez! No, it's not me. Yeah, you're not I it. I told you already. I have nothing to do with this. Yes, you are your suspect. You're the only one. That's why you can. You're the one. You are the copycat criminal. Huh? Me? What are you talking about? I told you all about the mailman, and even cooperated with your investigation! Yes, way too helpful, way too helpful. You are way too helpful. And now you think I'm a murderer? Are you fucking kidding me?! Oh, now you want to put the F on for you? Okay, now- Your investigation isn't worth shit! Ah, I'm not doing it yet! you to dust! You fell! Oh boy. Ah, look. Yeah, but you know way too much, my friend. I got a woman calls past near murders, victim's neck, not putting it. Why accuse me of being the culprit? I no idea. I was just first on the scene! Yeah, but. Why do you think I'm a oh, copycat shit. criminal? Uh, just, uh, uh, uh. It could have all been the mailman! The cause of death was just different each time, yeah? Even if there was a copycat criminal, why is it me? The servant could be the copycat. The nut could be the copycat. Anyone could have done it. Oh, this one. Say, that one's sick. Yeah, 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 uh... Why accuse me of being the culprit? I think it's this one. The I was just first on the scene! Yes. Why do you think I'm oh. a copycat criminal? Again? It could have all been the nail man! The cause of death was just different each time, yeah? Even if there was a copycat criminal, why is it me? The servant could be the copycat. The nurse could be the copycat. Anyone could have done it. No. Only you can. Alright. Oh you know way too much. <laughs> of death in the art gallery was blunt force trauma, faked as a strangling to resemble the nailman's M.O. But the murders all being strangulations wasn't made public right away. The only ones who knew that were those who actually set foot on the crime scenes. That includes the nailman himself, the peacekeepers, and the first eyewitnesses on the scene. Which means you, 
You could have committed the murder in the art gallery. <clears throat> Jump, there you go. Bye. Master, after him. The what? Just chase after him. For the first on the scene to also be the culprit is rather cliche. He was always suspicious, but because the real nail man was someone else, I didn't connect the dots. Yeah, he was way too suspicious. He was now. fascinated by the nail man, and by studying him, he eventually knew more about him than anyone else. Ultimately, he became the nail man. It's ironic that he exposed his own crime by knowing too much about the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> Master, the truth is yeah, even though he's the first person, he knows My way too much on the strangulation part. Banging? What? <laughs> ah, yes, here comes the fortress. I was wondering where the hell you have to I won't let you. You have the truth! Uh, Looks like we've arrived at the final stage. Yep. If we make him submit, Master. Yeah. Yep, let's do this now. Yeah, he was the only one who's appearing on the on the museum, so he's the one who killed the girl. Uh Alright, gosh, you need to give me time. Okay, I hope I remember. Uh, I hope you remember how to do this thing because it's. Come at me, bro! We got one. What the? You're wrong. Huh? Come on. Thanks to Holaris Forte, we were able to see what each crime scene looked like at that time. My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. We used postcognition to gather all the evidence. Wrong! Shut up! Stop it! Get away from me! Damn it! Why you? Get away from me! Get away! Get away! Who cares if you use post cognition? You only saw what I saw as the first person on scene! No clue will help lead you to the culprit! Oh, yes it is. You're never gonna find the culprit! 
What you saw is only what I saw the moment the corpse was discovered! Inside the fortress, 10 person, non public information, nail the painting, paint on the floor! Polaris postcognition showed us that the paint can at the gallery storage entrance had been knocked over. And according to the art gallery staff member's testimony, that was your doing. You went into the crime scene first, and the art gallery employee behind you noticed you knocking over the paint can. But Polaris postcognition only shows the scene when the corpse is first discovered. So if you were the first person to find the body, the scene before the paint can fell over would have been recreated. Oh, so if the person finds the, the scene before the... Oh, that means that if it was the other person, then, then the paint can won't fall over. But it wasn't. The paint can had already been knocked over when the corpse was discovered. That means the first person to find the corpse was the art gallery staff member, not you. The reason you didn't count as the first person to find it is because you're the culprit. That's why so he was a... is the truth of the case! Huh? Yeah, copper cannot find first, it must be the third person. Oh shit! No! Alright, time for the closing argument. Election denouncement. Okay, eyes of the troll. Eyes of the dog first. Uh, next is the... Oh, the vent. Where did the couple leave from? Okay, next one is the... Yeah, the nails. What? What did the copper tie to the vent? Oh, what did the copper? What did the copper tie to the vent? 
Okay, okay, I got this one, yeah. Okay, there we go. Alright, time for the closing argument now! behind the church and the nail man will kill that person for you with a countless number of nails a string of murders exactly like that urban legend began half a year ago all of the crime scenes featured a corpse and dolls nailed down within a locked room the first murder happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki district the victim was none other than the geezer who owned the place and the cause of death was strangulation. I heard the buy-in to place a bet was pretty steep and cheating was rampant, so it was obviously a scummy place. The key to the door was inside of a glass. And the vent that connects yeah, outside okay. looked too Let's... high for escape to be possible. Okay, now how many items will break? Is a vent dead? Okay. The culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footholds to climb. Sorry, sorry, man, I'm really have to take a bomb right to this. Well, nobody's gonna care. What are we? The proof? Why, the nails that were bent downward! The vent was not screwed down to the But I'm sure that we will suspect this holy priest by the father's innocent, no worry about it. Just been strolling around. So it could easily be removed. Oh, okay, so screw the thing, so nobody noticed the thing, but whatever. Please give us the water. The second murder happened three months ago. It was at a mansion near Ginma district. The victim was some real estate agent who lived there. And the cause of death was again strangulation. He made a lot of money through shady real estate deals. So of course someone would be out to get him. The door to the crime scene was the only possible entrance. But the key to that door was underneath the nailed down victim. After the culprit okay, escaped, now, some sort of how trick was used to again? get the cube back into the room. Okay, now I'm going to supposed to do this again. Wait, okay. I don't think I can go back for the pencil. Let me check it. Oh, okay. Good thing I brought my fishing line here. Yeah, so... Well, the name only got you. Good then for this one on. Pop this book at all. Let's do it And popped up the yep. other body of the corpse. Sorry, but okay, I don't miss. All that was left was okay. to exit the room, lock it. Okay. Throw the key in from the vent, and boom! You got yourself a locked room mystery! Okay! Come on! Hopefully not he drops into it! And... The key was tossed under the victim from the Bingo. vent. Yes! And once the fishing line was retrieved, the corpse's upper body fell over, completing the crime scene. I'm glad that I did a lot of practice on this thing. Although, although in the name of, although I do not try want to try that again. The nails on the upper body didn't pierce through completely, so it wasn't nailed down at all. Man, I'm the really really happened this. one month ago in an art gallery storage room in Gima District. The scene of death was blood force trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She was a pretty lady who let her looks get to her head, and she got boom killed. 
the key to the storage room was nailed to a painting through a doll. Another trick was used to get the key back inside the room here. The painting with the doll now, too. Yeah. I know how to go up the game again. He's propped up against the window. Okay. And then the culprit left the room. Okay. Now then, nothing wrong with the nest. Trying to play the the painting through the window. Over and bam, yeah. all done. Okay, done. Those are the truths behind the past three cases. I'm surprised that in Connor War they normally check fingerprints, but whatever. And now, there's been another murder at the clock tower in Connor War. The woman's cause of death was strangulation. Since you told okay, that I'm back, okay, okay, I'm back here again. I'm back here again. I'm back here again. I'm over it now. And there's a guy upstairs there who's a few clocks so I'm a little bit of pickle here. You know? The clock tower crime okay. scene is rather high up on the third floor. Ah, good thing they got a convenient room here, so that I brought along. So the door was locked from the inside, and the window shutters were also locked. But there was rainwater under the window, and the nails in two of the dolls had rub marks. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Damn it! Red walk away this radar. I should have expected this, but why the blowing here? In other words, the culprit must have hung a rope ladder from the dolls to escape out the window. I'm splitting. With my logic, anything is possible. Why are you imitating Hawara? Anyway. Yeah, you're <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to take it down. Oh. That way, they could just pull on one side of the rope to retrieve the whole thing. Alito. The shutters come down under their own weight, so they locked once the rope was collected. I'm surprised you noticed the auto-locking feature. You sure love your shutters, Master. The rope ladder was collected. <laughs> Nobody noticed me, and I'm getting wet. Good thing I got my hair. My hair. Good thing the gel would. There's waterproof. Whatever. Then burned in the church incinerator, which only ah, burned in the church. Day, so time to burn the thing. Nobody bothers. Somebody got it. Talking about the mailman must be someone from the clergy. But one question arose from this: the mailman killer shared one more characteristic. All the victims were murdered by strangulation. This piece of information wasn't publicized. I don't know what he's on the last aspect when I strangled this dead body, but whatever. <laughs> Wait, I should have right gloves, but man, nobody's gonna walk check him up for NC. Which means that it was someone mimicking the meal man. But I already know the identity of the copycat killer. Who's voicing this? Who's voicing this? Is he God? And Is it... a clergy member with oh. access to the incinerator. Uh oh. The priest! You're the nail man! Oh, oh no! I. I. Well, yes, he got caught. Oh! At least my crime is is someone who knows yeah, that all the victims were strangled. What's the voice? <laughs> wait, what's the voice? He was the first witness in each case. The person capable wait, of replicating the mailman's crime uh, oh no, is. Oh no! Wait, what do you mean? I mean, the worshipper. You're the copycat criminal. I, I, wait, uh, you know I have a name, right? You always gonna keep calling the priest and worshipper, but you know we got some. Oh goddamn it! <laughs> Let me say my name. <laughs> Oh shit. 
I'm here to take your meat wave. What's that? It's the truth. The soul of the true culprit who built this mist. I see. It looks otherworldly, but there's an ominous air around it. Thank you, Halara. I only kept my part of the deal. You made the right choice hiring me. And you still have to pay me 5.5 5, 5 million, okay? But I will say one thing. You- that much. R really Hulk? Thank you. Don't forget your payment. Alright! All eyes on Shinigami! What's about to happen? Oh, isn't it obvious? It's the moment we've all been waiting for! Time to boot the bad guy! What? Wait! Do not get to explain what my actions- Hey, uh, wait, I don't, I need to explain my actions- Oh, show no. <laughs> I am going my name yet! Lust. Me too, I- Overflowing despair? The brilliant soul of Shinigami! Shall it sponge this cursed case? Now to all deplorables! Really to the final mystery labyrinth! They have not even revealed their names yet! That's great, the book of family model is science today. Today in a hundred... But the issue is, we don't have the coffin to confess! The mystery labyrinth crumbles when you reap the soul of the true culprit. Then, the cause of the mystery labyrinth's creation pays the price by vanishing with it. I knew this would happen, but it still hurts to see someone die before my eyes. It's like I killed yep, myself. We... We, we get him. Yep, we get both of them. But no, how are you gonna I go fist? Kill them. I killed them with the ruthless blade of the truth. Uh. There, there. Humans boom kill cows and pigs all the time and eat them. You don't feel bad about that. That's right? not the problem, Shinny <laughs> Gummy. These were the souls of deranged murderers. At least you didn't eat them. Uh. If you look at it that way, there's nothing to feel bad about at all. Oh boy. It's not so simple when it comes to people dying. Yeah, that's the issue. Did you people do this? Did you kill them with some kind of poison? How are we poison them? We're, we're just... We almost got to capture. How the fuck can we do that? You hey, dick. hold on. I have no idea what's going on here. Me too. Uh, too much. We shall talk. No, I, I don't want... Is it just me or... Are things more complicated now than before entering the mystery labyrinth? Yeah, because he, they're not confessing the murder, so... How are we going to do that? Oh, you want help? Oh, fine. 
I can't say no when you ask for help. What are you gonna do? Uh, what are you doing? What? No way! Um, everyone! <laughs> really now? Really now? Are we really going that far? Ah, he came back to life! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, I'm back for the dead. Yeah, bitches. Sorry about that. You see, I'm actually the man. What? She got me. What? 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 These are my final words, so I can't lie. I'm the mailman. The worshipper laying there is just a copycat criminal. I only learned from that that he killed somebody in the museum, but but then I decided to keep him in case he, we want to work together. So yeah, he's my company, so don't buy it. Not it. By the name of God, yes. Search the church for the tools used in each crime. I'm sure you'll find plenty of evidence. <laughs> really? You going to say that? If you think I'm lying, go ahead and check it out. Thanks! No, I'm back being dead. Bye-bye. I didn't know you could do that. Um, she's a girl, so... <laughs> but that was a super lazy confession. Well, that should do it. We even have witnesses, so this case is closed. The priest mumbled something. But I couldn't quite hear him. We can't hear you, you fucko! <laughs> anyway, everyone here will be taken to Amaterasu Corporation at once. Yeah, this game is... This guy is, is not even pretending... This guy is pretending to be here. I'm putting that way. This guy is just covering it. What? It wasn't effective at all. He's so stubborn. This is why I hate authority! Yeah, so what do we do? Wait, I hear something. This again? Wait. What? Huh? What now? Wait, uh... Yeah, I... Wait, why am I hearing more of Mike? Yeah. Something is heading this way at an alarming speed. It can't be. Wait, what's going on? What? <sighs> what the... <sighs> What the fuck? What the f no, no. What are you doing? Ouch! Ouch! Oh, great. Is this too? Oh, wait. Who uh, what are you doing again? You dare speak so carelessly? Who do you think I am? Uh, the hero who defends the big wigs. Order, Kanai Ward. Director of the Amaterasu Peacekeepers. The Honorable Yomi Hellsmile. Oh yes, Hellsmile. <laughs> that fits his name now. He's a hell of a small. The Peacekeeper's director? So he is the head of the Peacekeepers. Now you know, small fry. Bow down. Uh, <laughs> no. Yomi Hellsmile. The big wigs. How to be with you. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. Benevolent Director Yomi is here to help. Oh, excuse me for the late introduction. I am Vice Director of the Peacekeepers, Martina Electro. Martina Electro. She's my beloved right hand. No one else gets to have her. Okay. What's with him? Master, be careful. This Yomi guy is dangerous. Huh? Why is that? I've never seen anyone emit such a dangerous aura before. He's that bad? Yeah, with the name of... Yeah, with the name of Hell Small, I don't blame her for that. So, what brings you here? Oh, right. 
I was so focused on my beloved right hand that I completely forgot. As mentioned earlier, Director Yomi is here to help. I hear you've been troubled by Seth's unreasonable treatment. Is that right? Huh? Yes? D Director Yomi, what is going on? What? What is going on? Wait, is he on there, right? Why am I? We have discovered you've been receiving sizable kickbacks for facilitating donations meant for the church. Uh, what? We now know why you were so desperate to clean up all the nail man killings. After all, it would be troublesome to lose access to all that money if the priest was arrested as the nail man. Ah, so that's why back in the mystery lab with that that the priest was was asking Seth that to help him out because they were helping each other out. Uh huh. That's why they were in. These guy. This guy was an accomplice. Uh, so that's why all the nailman killing was was not even involved because of this fucko. Wait, please, Director Yomi. I did this under your orders. Wait, what? His orders? Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm touching Did that. you say something? Because I didn't hear a thing. Oops. Uh, I see. See, drop your, your, your mic. Your, I'm seem to drop your microphone. What do you say again? I, I only did this because you, you ordered me to. Seth, you make me sad. Uh, I am the hero and defender of peace in this city. My peacekeepers are proud soldiers of that mission. Yet, you let yourself be corrupted. Uh, How could you? Uh, this Seth, guy, I don't the like him the now. Peacekeepers and the peace of Kanai Ward. Meow, meow. Yeah, okay, I say this guy's die. Taking advantage of your position as a peacekeeper executive is a serious crime. The punishment must be severe. But I... Uh, okay, let's go. No! Yeah, I'm annoyed my own underling would betray me like this. Yes, your underling betray you because he cannot do his job of helping you. Right. I'm so annoyed. I'd go insane if I didn't toy around with my beloved. Hey, 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 w wait, where are you touching? Meow. It's an honor. <sighs> He's terrible. Like a lizard cutting off its own tail to survive. Someone like him is in charge of the peacekeepers? Don't look him in the eyes. Don't talk to him. If possible, don't even breathe the same air as him. Though it's probably too late for that. Yeah, you think? Well then, to our shit for brains friends playing detective. Looks like I have to give you a warning. Know your place in my city and stay there. Follow the rules and don't disturb our peace. Or I'll need you to die. <laughs> uh, so he knows our location. Fuck. In this city, Director Yomi is both the law and the peacekeepers. Defying us means you defy law and order. You will receive fitting treatment for such behavior. Before, you were insignificant specks of dust. But now that you've banded together, you've become an eyesore. Detectives, my ass. Shit. Then what have you been doing? Hey! Wow! That's not very nice. Hey! You spit on him! Fuck you! Let's go, my beloved. Yes, Director Yomi. Uh. <sighs> Looks like we've been targeted by someone. Yeah, thanks to you. One wrong move and it would have been all over. You got that? Well, we just tried to rescue some money and we ended up have, having to solve a case of of the mailman killing. But uh, uh, yeah, I got nothing now. I'm sorry, but no buts, none. How did this happen anyway? Oh, Laura, help me out. You said you acknowledged me as a detective. What? Oh, uh, when did I say that? Huh? What? 
It's such a shame, Master. Everything that happens in the Mystery Labyrinth gets forgotten. Oh, come on! Re what? You're now telling this now? Pilara's memory must have been wiped after entering and leaving the Labyrinth. Ugh. <sighs> Nothing inside the Mystery Labyrinth can be taken into the real world. Not even memories. Oh, uh, so that means only Yuma can only remember everything, but not, not the person who... Not the third party member now. Unless you have a contract with yours, truly that. What? I thought hello. Yeah. Memories from up until you enter the mystery labyrinth are retained, like the debt you owe for your assignment. Oh boy. That's awful. Hey, Yuma, are you listening? You better make sure this doesn't happen again. By the way, Chief, our submarine office is tipping over. Are you sure the peacekeepers didn't mess with it? What? Seriously? I have to go back and repair it! Yuma, help me out! Follow me! It's sinking! <laughs> Yuma, it was supposed to be time for your solution, but we've ended up in a mess. Uh, huh? yeah. So do I need to pay the five Before million? Before they could be oh, accused, yeah, sorry. the true culprit suddenly died. It's my first time dealing with such a thing. Still... I do remember this. You did your absolute best to try and solve the case. Huh? Uh, yeah, uh, thanks. You should be proud. Alara! Oh, Look, the chief is calling for you. You should go. Right! Thank you! That was fucking crazy. I thought we were gonna meet the big shots in like, I don't know, in the middle of a chapter, but in chapter one already we're we meeting this this duck pack? Ugh. Then again, at least we didn't know that that Zed got arrested for for being an accomplice, but Peacekeeper executive was taking bribes from the church? Cheating on me, please stop poking at me. I know, but it's funny that you see the link that's why I was. Oh, help. If Director Yomi said so, it would be considered the truth, even if it isn't. What about the priest being the new man? It's going to be publicly announced as the truth. It appears the priest's strong desire to save others turned him into the nail man. He saw people wishing for revenge as they hammered those nails in the forest and decided he needed to save them. That was the motive, though it could all be a story made up by the peacekeepers. So what about the kitty cat criminal? Meow. You mean the copycat? That one was already publicized as well. They say the copycat did it out of admiration for the real nail man. And in the end, he felt so much guilt that he poisoned himself? None of this really makes any sense. Yes, uh, they poisoned themselves with invisible po poison and killed themselves without leaving a poison trace. Yes, that's a nice It sure didn't look like death by poison to me. It was me! I did it along with that detective, Neely. It would make more sense to assume Yomi killed them somehow. Especially when you consider the timing. He'd do it without batting an eye. Yomi Hell Smile. The director of the peacekeepers, the leader of our enemy. I heard he rode in on a dragon. Wait, what? No, it was a motorcycle. From what I've investigated, the peacekeepers' influence is gaining ground at Amaterasu Corporate. There's some sort of power struggle going on. Seems like they're getting their way internally. I hear that their boss, Yomi, is extraordinarily dangerous. Yeah. Extraordinary. It's only a matter of time until the peacekeepers gain complete control of the corporation. 
when that happens, they might outright attack the World Detective Organization. Perhaps the WDO made its move because they saw the warning signs. If that's the case, it could have something to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Oh yeah, what's the deal with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? We still know nothing about it, huh? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the Nailman incident. I wonder what it could be. Sheesh, so much to deal with. So, Didn't I tell you that from the start? We have to obey directives from number one, no matter how difficult they are. <sighs> well, well, we got some very talented master detectives gathered here. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> so much. No, everything changes from now on. Yuma, you can take a seat now. Thank you. I've been kneeling for an hour. Oh. <sighs> My legs. Yeah, you think? Uh, Don't stick your neck out recklessly from now on, for everyone's sake. Got it? Yeah, no promises to that. Uh, got it. Hey, we worked super hard. I'm so stressed, I could die. You already did. But I can't die. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, my legs. Wait, what was going on? We have a visitor? That's rare. Yuma, can you go get it? Sure. Can, uh, can I rest my legs? My legs are painting. Oh. Oh, my legs are painting. Oh. Oh. Someone's here. You maybe got the door. They might be fed up and get up. What do you have to say? I see. I see that. Could it be? Maybe. You have an idea who you Perhaps it's a kitty cat. Maybe I can play with my chin. <sighs> no, kitty cat. Copy cat. Oh, oh truly. My apologies. That's so small. Okay, who is it? Oh, it's Kay! Oh, it's you! My dad is back safe at home! It's all thanks to you! Thank you for helping us! No, I just... Well... Oh, look at you getting thanked! You were on... Be quiet. Yeah. Oh! Yeah? What is it? Did someone else die or something? Oh, a ball? Will you play catch with me? Uh, huh? sure. Catch? Uh, are you sure? My legs are still painting up the... sure. What? Uh, sure. Oh, my legs are still painting in fact on this... The unending rain. My memories still seem like faraway raindrops. My hands still have yet to grasp a single thing. I am still lost. Is it all right for me to be here? But with the worn baseball gripped in my hand, my heart somehow feels lighter. Why I wanted to be a detective? It could have been for the sake of something so small that it fits in my hand. Maybe I should give myself credit for this small realization. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so, you know, we're not doing that longer. time. I think I'll keep pretending to be a detective. And that's... Chapter 1, the nailman killing is ended. Result, deduction. SS. Yeah. Oh, I got something on there. Yeah, I. Yeah, I screw up a lot of time when I do stamina, but yeah, that thing. Yeah, that was my bad. I don't get, you know. 